there's really no need to mix your own cocktails this summer. I mean, they're lovely ones to do, which we're going to, but there's a whole new batch of cocktails in a can that fit in so well with summer parties. Mike Samuelson is Wine and Spirits Manager at the Silvis High V here today with some new offerings. I love what you brought today, Mike. This stuff is hot. Oh, absolutely. Canned cocktails are absolutely on fire right now. It's a great alternative for items that if you had a long day at work, you can just crack open a can, just pour it in a glass, you're done. I can't believe the variety. Oh, yeah. I mean, everybody's jumping on that. Yep. Um, it used to be just White Claw, mm -hmm. and now it's, it's, it did it kind of branch off from from yes. that, from the White Claw Foundation. Absolutely. It has branched off um, over there significantly. We're seeing more um, products. Uh, people who used to um, drink seltzers are going to more of these canned cocktails. Yeah. Well, so we're going to look at some. We're going to start over here. Um, some of them are, seem kind of fancy, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I know the one that you want to show me right now, so we're going to look at these. We're gonna look at these. No, maybe not. Anyway, let, 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 let's just pop one. What do you say? Sure, this one's called Carbless, yep. like Carbless. Yep. And um, doesn't have carbs. Correct. And what else? But what, what's, what's good about it? It is it is a great alternative to a seltzer. It's only 100 calories, only 5% alcohol. It has amazing flavor though. Um, in fact- Ooh, it's the, a color. Mm -hmm. mm, pinky. How it was created is that the owners of the company actually wanted to drift away from seltzers because they were on a diet. So they created oh, this. That's funny. You also told me, that is, is this the one that, that sold out at your yes. store for Memorial Weekend? Yes. Yep. Yep. Um, at the moment, it's only available on the Illinois side of the Quad Cities, but it is going to be in the Iowa side eventually. That's it, good. It has more sweetness, more uh, flavor yes. than White Claw. Absolutely. I can, I can tell that, but it's not sugar. Correct. Mm -hmm. Look at that, carbless. There's some other ones over there that, that, uh, that we were looking at. Mm -hmm. What else do you like? There's Truly, what's uh, this What's this Kettle One um, Botanical? Yep, the Kettle One is more for like the kind of like spritzy kind of um, flavors mm -hmm. and like it's a vodka cocktail like uh, carbless as well, mm -hmm. but it has more of a like spritzier and more vibrant. Jim Beam was getting in on the action too with the Absolutely. lemonade and punch. Absolutely. And oh, a white Russian in a can, so is it creamy? Um, a little bit, yes. Um, it is their best seller by far um, huh. on the Cutwater. The Cutwater line cut has water. a huge line. Yes. So that's what's called Cutwater. And um, so I guess sometimes if people don't want to mix drinks, like you said, just, you know, right. it, you have all of the flavored, all the ingredients mm -hmm. of that uh, in, a, in a can. So uh, Truly is the, the vodka seltzers. That's another new one. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I see you've got um, the Jack Daniels uh, Coke, Coca-Cola. Yes. yes. Yeah. They Which officially got the licensing to have Coca-Cola on the can itself, and that's the new zero, um, zero sugar one. Oh yeah, that's a hot one too. I'll, I'll put the uh, put this there so you can see that a little better. Jack Daniels, uh, yeah. So that's the real deal with the zero sugar uh, Coke. And on the other side, you have um, I, I see Crown Royals got a whiskey lemonade. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, how are those doing? The Crown Royal ones that have whiskey in them. They're doing pretty good. The whiskey lemonade and the peach are doing the um, the best out of all mm -hmm. of them. And those um, cocktails are more geared towards the summertime anyway. What's uh, what's <laughs> Betty's Buzz right here? Yeah, the Betty Buzz is more of another yeah. alternative for a tonic water. Um, it has agave syrup in it. So mm -hmm. if you are more somebody that likes agave syrup, this would be a good choice for you. Yeah. So, that, but look at that the pretty little bottle. Is there something about the way the pack? Packaging is now. I see a lot about Fever Tree. What what is the difference be between um, a tonic water like that and then just like a generic? Yeah, like? mostly enhancement. Of course, this one is enhanced with elderflower. So if you want more vibrant um, flavors for your gin and tonic, go towards the Fever Trees, the Betty Buzzes. Okay, okay. What are you going to make for me here? I think these are the most beautiful. This this bottle of French gin is yeah. extraordinary. It's so it's awesome too, and it's uh, it's more of a citrusy kind of gin, mm -hmm. but it's. Um, it's more of a mellow citrus. It's made, with, it has yuzu in it. It's, it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Um, okay. But what I'm making today okay. is Hendrix and tonic. Um, Hendrix is one of my favorite um, gins. Mm -hmm. And what makes it unique is that it has cucumbers in it. So hmm. um, usually I use um, the diet tonic water, so I'm going to go with this one. Okay. Um, and adding a slice of cucumber to it makes the smoothest gin and tonic you'll ever have. It's so cool. Well, gin and tonic is a classic summer drink, isn't yes, it? A summer absolutely. cocktail. And um, so this is for, I mean, I think either you're a gin person or not, but you mm -hmm. said that, that this one is really good. And this is the other gin, uh, this one that you love so much, this mm -hmm. French one. Um, that has a, a like special flavor too. Oh yeah, yeah. It just has that mellow citrus to it, mm -hmm. and the consistency is really awesome too. Like it's not dry, it's not like thin. Mm -hmm. It's um, on the thicker side, and I like right. that. And then the other one I know you wanted to show off. Look, it just rhubarb is everywhere this yes. year. Mm -hmm. So this is this is a, a rhubarb gin. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And th look at the color. I mean, that says it all, right? Absolutely. And um, when I tried that, it was um, it was really, 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 really unique. Is that it is enhanced with rhubarb uh, juice, but it's not overly puckery. Like you get that with rhubarb, like straight rhubarb, mm -hmm. but it, you, it just enhances it. It's really cool. It, it's real. It's really neat that, that I. You can get lost in the in the department now oh, that yeah. you run, right? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, this drink is very nice. If you love gin and tonics, well, all, all of these are great. But uh, so of these three, do you have a favorite of the the three you just showed us? It used to be Hendrix, but I might have to go with the Citadel now. The Citadel, yes, that's 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 the French one, right there. So um, so anyway, so all these great new offerings, and it's uh, it's good for summertime because a lot of people are having parties and they want a variety. Just pick up, you know, if you just want to do a bunch of these these little cans and mm -hmm. you know, set them in a thing of ice and mm -hmm. got it set. So which is the one that's not available in the Iowa Quad Cities now? The Carbless. That, oh, yeah, the Carbless. The, what, this is the one we talked about, yes. the, the seltzer right there. Well, thank you, Mike. You oh, really you. educated us well from the, the, the Silvis Hy-Vee. So um, keep going strong on that department. I know that you're never going to be out of business there, right? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Of